Hey, it's your boy DJ Wolf here. Boy, it's a night. It got wet out this joint night, man. Crazy, dark, cold. Boy, I'll be glad when daylight savings time come back, man. I really am. You know, for a number of reasons. It looked like it's slowly coming back now. Being it's almost the end of February. I think if the clouds wasn't so dark this time of the evening, I probably would be able to see a little bit of this horizon. I could see a little of it now, to tell you the truth. You can tell. Uh, although it's nightfall now, and it's six of them, but you can tell now that the sun sets a little, just a slightly a little later than it usually does at this point. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> I wanted to talk about something very uh, serious that happened down here at uh, PG. There was an officer, I'm going to get more details about it. Uh, when I do my uh, next live uh, podcast, I may have to move it up to tomorrow because it just happened yesterday. Um, he was a 14-year veteran of the Prince George's County Police Department. And there was a guy in his neighborhood, uh, from my understanding, that was wanted uh, for uh, not only a domestic altercation with his uh, wife and he had, uh, my understanding, a restraining order, against him but he was actually one on other charges in addition to that uh, he was back in that neighborhood I guess his wife had, uh, was trying to get somebody to help him get her, him get away from her and I guess the officer had uh, somehow or another he had intervened in the process uh, was shot to death by the suspect Eventually, uh, the cops caught him with the suspect, and he tried to fire back. From my understanding, they ended up killing him. So, but the uh, 14-year uh, veteran officer uh, had uh, died um, sometime after he was shot, and uh, he, le he leaves behind uh, a wife and four kids. This man uh, tried to do the right thing, man. And they said he lived he lived a really good life, man. He was really a, a pillar in the community. And they said he had been known to uh, go uh, the extra mile to reach out to people in, in the communities. What bothered me was uh, they, 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 there was a rumor. And I don't know how true it, this was or is. But as far as I'm concerned, this is just a rumor. There was a rumor that got started to saying that the uh, that the uh, officer got involved uh, with the altercation between the uh, husband and wife because the officer allegedly, and this was allegedly started by the uh, family of the suspect, that the officer allegedly had an affair with the suspect's wife, and that's what made the suspect feel some kind of way. I'm going to tell you the truth. I haven't heard any other stories about that. But personally, I think that was all. But that, that that story itself was a bunch of bullshit. I think that was just an excuse for the suspect's family to give cover for the suspect himself. Shut up. That man's riding on the damn out lane. Uh, to, give cover, to give cover for the suspect and give him an excuse for shooting the officer. That was all a bunch of bullshit. And then you could tell it was obvious. Whoever started that rumor really started a terrible rumor about a man who really I don't think personally from what I all accounts believe that he even, he was even involved with this guy's wife because the guy the suspect himself was wanted on a number of charges the guy was just bad news from day one you know and they were just trying to save face on this 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 dude you know that's just ridiculous you know, own up to the fact that y'all knew that this guy was was bad news. Come on, it's our time trying, trying, trying that, trying to make him look like like he he wasn't about that life and he was about that life the whole time. He got a rap sheet. Come on, seriously. But uh, the funeral uh, is scheduled for tomorrow out here in PG, and my heart really does go out to the family of this officer. I'm going to get more information on it. Um, it happened yesterday. I didn't get a chance to do the story. I'm, I'm putting it out here tonight. Uh, 
to let you guys know about it and let you guys also know how ratchet some some people can get in general. And I couldn't believe the family of the suspect actually uh, uh, felt some kind of way to a point that they were going to sit there and lie about the officer. You know, and don't get me wrong. You have your good officers and you have your bad officers. Not all, not all policemen are bad. But you can't sit there lying on the one who, 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 who tried to do the right thing. It just, I mean, just blatantly lie. No facts behind that. Talking about, oh yeah, no, you, the suspect felt some kind of way because because he felt the guy was cheating on uh, uh, his wife was cheating on him with with the, with the cop who lived in the neighborhood. That's a bunch of BS. Unless you got, you know, unless you got, I mean, even with that. So you know, why would you have to shoot the guy? You know, that's the way I feel about it. But that, that, as far as I'm concerned, all that is is just a rumor <laughs> to make the suspect look like oh. He, he, he wasn't really I don't want to hear it. you know I almost wasn't going to bring that up but I just had to bring it up to let you know how ratchet some Negroes can be you know they'll say anything to try to get, get, get a guy off especially when they know he got a rap sheet a mile long you know so again my heart goes out to the families of the um, the officer that was slain man I mean, I mean, when I when I heard about it, after I read about, about what happened, I really was emotional about it. Um, it doesn't make, make any sense, man. All this evil in the world, man. And people still trying to cover for evil. Look what they're doing. They're saying just like with Donald Trump. I mean, Donald Trump, is he's a no-good SOB. I don't, I don't care what anybody says. This guy is not right. He's rotten to the core. And people are still trying to cover for him. You know, it's like you got the element of people out here that do dirt all the time, and somebody's always trying to cover for them. Always make excuses and shit. All the time. You know. All the time. I was just thinking about that earlier about about family members I had to do the same thing. You know. I was just thinking about times I growing up, man, living at home. I was the one getting, you know, criticized and put down for trying to do something. And, of course, others who was doing all kind of dirt got, you know, were the ones that they actually really uh, seemed like they had more respect, more love for. You know, I know the feeling as far as that goes in my life. It's just sometimes I think this world is just backwards. I do. You know. People love the dirt. People love, that's what I was talking about earlier in my uh, in one of my other podcasts. People like dirty stuff. People like drama. They love it. That's like I was talking about the, about the woman who I had a two week old baby and she just slinging the baby around the floor. Like the baby was a rag doll. She treated, you know, the baby, that woman was done but treat, and I hate to say it. I don't like using that word. I think it's a negative word towards blacks, but in this case, it applies to her. She treated that baby like she was a savage. She did. And, and that's just the only word I got for her on that. You know, she didn't even respect her own child. You know, that was rotten. Rotten as it gets. Rotten world, man. People just have rotten ways, and they do rotten stuff. And people, you know, our culture is like drama. They love it. They feed off of it. And I'm sick of it, man. I mean, this is why I have to go to a higher source in my life, man. I'm telling you, over and over, I have to, because this is an evil, evil world, man. And you need something that's going to back you up, man. From the evil that, that that's out here, man. It's just it's just not right. You know, we already have it bad enough because people feel some kind of way because of our skin color. You know, and if you were around them enough, if you work around, them, they do act that way. You know, we didn't choose to be who we are. This is who we are. 
but by the same token, why are we so nasty towards our own our own people? You know, nobody. On, I, I, and I've talked to some people on YouTube about that. There are some people on YouTube about, uh, that will not address that issue. You know, there are very few people that will address that issue, and I'm one of them. You know, it had been to a point in my life where I have had family members like that to me. You know, just because. You know, I used to say, you know, how are you going to submit and treat me like that as a young child when you need to be molding me, guiding me, teaching me? Don't assume I know something because I'm eight or nine, just because you knew something that, that certain that you knew, you you had to do when you was eight or nine. Okay. I mean, well, I could talk about this all day. I was telling guy uh, yesterday, my gym uh, a buddy. You know, we share a lot of stuff in common with our families. And I was just saying, I said, boy, I could tell you some stories, man. And I'm telling you, I, I, I'm going to write a book on it. When I am. I'm going to actually write a book on it, even if it's an e-book. But I want to write a book, nevertheless. I really am. There's always some mess going on with that as well. Oh well, guys. Well. That's what I wanted to say. I had to get it off my chest. I really did. Man, they had a bad accident over here. Good, good morning. All right, guys. Well, I will have more to say. Hopefully, I have a a, a podcast on my way. I will have a podcast on this weekend because I will have to talk about Black Panther. Uh, I'm gonna tell you tell you about what I like. Tell you what about what I dislike about the movie. Right now, I don't know what to like or what not to like because I haven't seen it. But I'm gonna tell you my my. Uh, honest uh, opinion about the film. It'll be called tentatively called Black Lightning. DJ Wolf's review on the hip film. Because it is a hip film. This movie has made over $400 million in less than four days. I know somewhere along the line that's got to be a record. It's probably and this is what really amazes me. They haven't officially said that this was the biggest money-making black film in history because technically this was a black film. Well, it was the biggest money-making. Yeah, it actually did. I think it's something to do with the biggest money-making film by a black director. You know, a weekend ever. I'm pretty sure it is. You know, it would almost have to be because this is this is a hurry of black movies. But I'll be talking about that real soon. Matter of fact, it will, I will be talking about it sometime uh, this weekend. Don't know when, but it'll probably be late. Late Saturday. All right, guys, this is DJ Wolf. That's all I got to say. Again, I'm out.